Mammoths and mastodons lived in Alberta thousands of years ago. But have you ever wondered what these animals ate? There are different ways that we can use fossils to better understand the mega diet of this megafauna. We'll start with the teeth. So when you look at the teeth and compare the teeth of a mammoth and a mastodon, the shape and size of certain ridges on the tooth are different in mammoths and mastodons. So mammoths have a, a lot of what we call enamel plates. These are many, many rows of tightly packed ridges of enamel. And this enamel, uh, the, way, the arrangement of the enamel in the mammoth teeth, it's excellent at breaking down tough plants, such as grasses. Whereas the mastodon teeth have ridges that are bigger. They're also, the cusps tend to be a bit more broader, uh, pointier. And these type of teeth are really well adapted at breaking down woody vegetation from leaves and trees. So that is the first clue. To look at a more specific diet for specific individuals at a shorter period of time, we need to look at other pieces of evidence. So one of those is the microscopic wear on the surface of the enamel. You gotta zoom in really, really close. You need to get uh, up close and personal with the teeth. And when you do that, you see that there are different features on the enamel of the teeth. They're typically scratches, pits, and other types of microscopic wear. And by looking at this type of wear, we can tell what a particular animal was eating up to a few weeks before the animal died. If we want to know more about specifically what kind of species some of these animals were eating, we need to look at other type of evidence. And one of those is the dental tartar. So tartar build up on the teeth. So over time, uh, there was a buildup of tartar, and this tartar would harden, and it would capture some of the uh, small pieces of plants that these animals were eating. So by collecting samples of the tartar and processing it, and then taking a look in, under the microscope, we can see some of those tiny remains of, of these plants, ancient plants that they were eating. And we can identify those to more specific levels, uh, depending on what part of the plant we find. Uh, sometimes even down to the species. Another piece of evidence that can help us identify more specifically what types of plants these, these animals ate is to look at evidence of fossil dung and in some circumstances, for example, like in the permafrost of North America and Eurasia, we sometimes find mummified remains of, of woolly mammoths. And in those, we can see the stomach contents as well as the contents in the intestines. Some of these animals died while they were chewing the food, so we find the food stuck between their teeth. We're lucky to have a piece of a freeze-dried mammoth intestine that was collected from permafrost. And in this piece, you can see a lot of the tiny bits of macerated plant that remained still intact. So by collecting samples of the, these plants that are preserved in the, in the intestine or either or stomach contents, we can identify them down to species often and determine what the animal ate just a few hours before it died. So come get up close and hands on with this megafauna here at the Royal Alberta Museum at the Natural History Gallery.